Hi, and welcome back to Good Company. Anna Yee here. We're in Bloomington today, and I'm joined by Dr. Benjamin Tamarazzi. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hi, we're at uh, Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute, talking all things pain, all things headaches, but today, chronic pain and a way of treating it. So there's this big fancy word we're talking about today called neuromodulation. And it's a way of treating chronic pain if you have it. So, Doctor, um, okay, it does sound kind of fancy, neuromodulation. Can you break that down for us? What does sure. that actually mean? Well, this is a really fascinating topic, and neuromodulation basically is the science or the tricks that we use to take advantage of the normal flexibility of the central or peripheral nervous system to change their behavior in a fashion that we can control pain using that. So, at the end, we could basically treat chronic pain, chronic headaches with this technology. Is it? If you don't know what it means, it kind of sounds a little intimidating. Are you sticking needles in here? What are you doing? You know, how do you, how do you well, use it? Let's start first by saying that the central nervous system is a very complex structure. And the nerves within the central nervous system, they communicate with each other using complex neurochemicals called neurotransmitters. So if we were to be able to change the concentration of these neurotransmitters, we can control the pain. This can be achieved by either taking oral medications, injecting medications near the nerves, or putting these tiny electrodes near the nerves, as you see here. And by stimulating these electrodes, then we can uh, control the pain. So uh, within the nervous system, there are different types of nerves. There are large fiber nerves, there are small fiber nerves, and each one of them are responsible for a different uh, modality. So normally the uh, sensation of tactile sensation um, and pressure is transmitted with large fibers. The small fibers are responsible for a sensation of pain. So having said that, then we have a situation that we have specialized systems that transmit the pain or other sensations into the spinal cord and up to the brain for us to understand the, the sensation. Uh, we all have had this situation when you're walking around, you bump your hand and you have mm -hmm. like a bruise or something, and first thing you do, you always rub it. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is the core principle, and, and usually it gets better when you rub it. So this is a core principle that uh, basically forms the uh, gate control theory of pain. What it is basically is that uh, actually in 1960s, two very brilliant scientists, uh, they, their names is uh, Melzack and Wall, they realized that if one would to stimulate the large fibers as they are incoming into the spinal cord, they would be able to close the gates or the transmission of pain that comes through the small fibers. So this forms the uh, core principle of gate control theory for pain. Using that technology, that concept, we have technologies now available to us, which basically placing these tiny electrodes, as you can see in this spine model, uh, into the backside of the spinal canal. You see the tips of these um, electrodes sticking out here. Basically, we s by uh, delivering electrical impulses to these electrodes, we can impede the transfer of signals up to the brain so pain is controlled. Okay, so this, this is actually, is it considered surgery? Is it actually going into Well, it's a, if, if you consider, it, if you look at it, it is a very minimally invasive surgical procedure. Okay. It goes into two stages. Stage one is a trial stage, which is basically a placement of these leads via small needles into the spinal canal. Patient goes home and they uh, have to try this to see if this would be a good fix for their type of pain. So if they have good relief from this uh, device, then they will come back for doing it as a permanent system, which then these all of these wires and the generator that you see down here, they are implanted under the skin. But this is an outpatient procedure, very mi minimally invasive procedure, and with very excellent result. Okay. Okay, speaking of the patients, though, um, who qualifies for this? Like, what kind of chronic pain do you have to have, and is there a specific age limit or anything like that? Well, there is really no specific age limit, but uh, there are specific indications for neuromodulation. Right here, we are basically right now talking about spinal cord stimulation. As you see, this is a, sp the, a model of spine. So patients who've had, for instance, back pain, and they have undergone back surgery, and the um, surgeon has operated on the pathology, but patient continues having pain. This would be a perfect candidate. This is a condition that is called failed back surgery syndrome. These patients are the ones who the surgeon basically says, I cannot do anything else okay. for you. And patient though continues having uh, back pain, leg pain, and then the system is implanted and this can help them quite a bit. There are other forms of uh, uh, painful conditions such as painful diabetic neuropathy or other neuropathic pain, such as for instance, if you've had shingles, 
people who've had shingles, they will tell you this pain is excruciating. Mm -hmm. And uh, by placing this, this type of electrodes, we can control the pain of that. Uh, headaches would be uh, another uh, area where this could be used, and I think we have another session yeah, to talk we'll about talk that. Yeah, we'll talk more about that. Um, for next if week. I may, there are other indications. Uh, this, this device is used significantly, especially overseas, like in Europe, for people who have uh, severe peripheral vascular disease. And these are patients who already have had surgeries for re-establishing blood flow to their legs unsuccessfully. Uh, patients, these are patients who are on blood thinners and the, the surgeon and the doctors have done everything and they cannot improve the blood flow to their legs. Using this technology, we can cause vasodilation and improvement of blood flow to their legs. And a lot of times, salvage the limb, like preventing even amputations using oh this wow. technology. Very good, okay. Dr. Ty Morazi out of Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute. Thank you so much. Thank you, my Spreading favorite. hope, helping solve the world's problems, one neuromodulation at a time. All right, well, if you want more information, we'll put up a graphic now for you. It's Guardian Headache and Pain Management Institute out of Bloomington, located at 2203 Eastland Drive, suite number 7. Give them a call at 808-1700 or visit them online at www.guardianpaininstitute.com. More with a good company right after the break.